guys, this is Scotty. We're at the loft at home. Today we're going to do a power workout. Uh, so it's going to be about 45 minutes. Really going to focus on uh, strength for cyclists on the bike, help you get up the hills when you get outside. Uh, yeah, so let's get into it. We are starting right now, just five minute, nice easy spin. Uh, get the legs moving a little bit, get warmed up a bit. Um, we're gonna get into our main kind of warm up set. So I usually break my workouts down into a warm up and then the main. For a warm up, uh, I really like to do some spin work. So first of all, we're gonna do single leg for 30 seconds. We're gonna stand for 30 seconds just to kind of loosen things up. And then a fast spin, so a high kids. Uh, and then a 30 second break. We'll go through that four times. So twice on each single leg. And uh, yeah, that'll get us real good warmed up. Uh, a couple minutes set break. And then getting into the main set. So. Our main set, like I said, was focused on power today. Um, if you're a newer cyclist, you might wanna be cautious of this workout just because A, it's gonna be hard, um, and B, it can be a little hard on your knees, so make sure your bike's set up properly. If you do notice any knee pain when you're doing low RPM stuff like this, just back it off, you don't wanna hurt yourself on, on the spin bike. So our power set starts off with a minute seated. Uh, we wanna feel like we're kinda of dragging an anchor. We're pretending that we're going up the hill here. So we're gonna sit down for the first part of the hill before it gets really steep. Um, and we're just gonna kind of lower the RPMs, increase the pow power on the bike. So whether you've got a spin bike like mine where we're gonna turn the dial, or if you've got a bike at home, uh, shift your gears down, get into that big ring, and start dragging that anchor. Uh, a minute there, then we're gonna do a minute standing. So this is the peak of the hill. This is gonna be the hardest. We're gonna increase the tension even more. If you're on a bike at home, you should be in your big ring, your smallest cog, the hardest gear you've got, just grinding it out, hard and steep. Uh, and then we're gonna kinda of crest the top of the hill for a minute. So that's gonna be a minute seated again. We're gonna increase the RPMs a little bit, so backing off the tension a little bit, but really, this is where it really counts. You wanna come over the hill fast. You wanna really focus on being strong and keep the power up. Uh, and then kind of the downhill is the 30 second fast spin. So just uh, back it off, back off the tension, spin up the legs and kind of start to think about that nice minute and a half easy recovery. And then we're gonna go through that six times through. Pick your poison if you're at home and you're feeling tired, maybe do this thing four times. If you're feeling like you're really getting ready for a big event, and you still got a couple months away, you want to work on power, maybe push it up to eight set, uh, eight reps of this. Uh, yeah, after that we're just going to cool down. All right, so we've been spinning for a few minutes here. Nice and easy getting the legs kind of working. Um, getting into the warm up, our single leg is where we're going to start. So when I say go, we're going to unclip. Doesn't matter if you unclip your left or your right. Um, Single legs are really designed to work on your pedal stroke. So what I like to say to people in spin class is nice round circles. Um, when you're doing a single leg, you have to pull up on the back nicely, kick over the top, uh, and smooth out the bottom of the rotation. So we're really working on that. You don't need a lot of tension, but you don't want too little. If, you're, if you've got no tension at all, it's gonna be really clunky and it's hard. You do need some resistance. Um, Generally, if you want to challenge yourself with single leg, you want to spin faster, higher cadence. That's kind of the key to the, the single leg drills. All right, we got another uh, maybe 45 seconds here, and then we'll get into our warm up. If you're spinning at home, some essentials, towel. Try not to sweat too much on your bike. I know that's next to impossible, but it is, sweat is really corrosive on your bike. 
we see some nasty stuff at the bike store when we're working on bikes. Um, so try to cover your bike as best as possible with towels and keep that sweat off. Uh, water, obviously, lots of water before, during, and after. And uh, a fan. We don't have one of those today because it makes too much noise, but oh, it's gonna be hot in here. <laughs> All right, we got 10 seconds, and then we're gonna get into the single leg. So again, find that gear that's not too hard, not too easy. Unclip and spin left leg only. Also helps practice clipping left or in and out. Okay, so again, we're technique here. We're just spinning smooth. If you're new to this, you'll probably find that there's a clunk at the top after 20 seconds or so, especially when we get to the later rounds. Um, just fight that clunk, pull up on the backstroke. Kick over the top. All right, let's clip back in. That's 30 seconds, we're gonna stand up. Keeping it easy, I'm gonna add maybe a little bit of tension here. Maybe a gear or two on your bike if you're at home. Standing, just to loosen things up a bit. This helps get the heart rate up. Remember, we're still warming up here. You don't have to be hammering up a hill right now. Almost there. And take a seat, back it off a bit, spin it up. When I say fast spin, you know, you want to try to be at least 100 RPM. I'm doing about 115, 120 right now. Um, yeah, challenge yourself a little bit with the spin here. This also helps get the heart rate up. You want to really concentrate on not going too fast and bouncing on the saddle. You just want to keep it in control. Keep it quick. All right, and then we're gonna take it easy for 30 seconds. So that's round one. We got three more of those to go. Like I say, I guarantee you'll be warmed up after this. It's actually if you don't have a fan. <laughs> All right, five seconds, and we're getting into our right leg. Find that gear. And unclip with our left, spin with our right. Nice and smooth, full circles. Almost there. All right, both legs, good job. Standing up, maybe add a little tension so it's not too loose. Add a gear or two on your bike. Standing. Again, we're still warming up. Don't get too anxious here. Got a lot of work to do in the main set. So don't go too hard here. Five more seconds up here. And take a seat, back it off a bit, spin it up, get that cadence going, up, up, up. Good job guys, keep it spinning, keep it in control here, nice and quick. And good job. Back it off for 30 seconds. Nice and easy, nice and slow. Catch your breath. Grab some water. Two rounds down, two to go for our warm up. Probably feeling a little warmed up right now, I know I am. Uh, so, you know, if you want to take it up a notch for the next couple rounds, you can. Adding a little tension for the standing section. All right, we're into our next uh, left leg only. Unclip, and spin with your left. This is where it gets a little more challenging. Legs are getting a little more tired. Wanna stay focused on that nice round circle. Pulling up on the back, kicking over the top, and sweeping through the bottom. We're all pretty good about pushing on the front. This is where we're working on the other aspects of the circle. Almost there. 
And both legs. Good job, standing up. And a little more tension maybe. Up the hill here. Again, getting that heart rate going, getting those legs, muscles moving. Up, guys, almost to the top here. All right, take a seat, back it off, spin it up nice and quick. Again, challenge yourself. Nice fast cadence here. Doing 125 right now. But again, it's all up to you to challenge yourself. Some of us are slow spinners, some are fast. Nice work. Finish that one. All right. Take 30 seconds and cruise. Go one more round of that. Grab some water. Hope you're feeling good. This is my first spin workout in a long time, so <laughs> I'm feeling good already. <laughs> All right, five seconds. We're going right leg. Get ready for this one. Okay, here we go. Right leg only. Stay focused here. All that good technique. Try to keep the knee tracking straight above your foot. If you're finding this challenging, just slow it down. If you're finding this too easy, speed it up. All right, guys, good job. Let's put those both feet on. Standing up, maybe a little more tension. Got 30 seconds standing here. You guys are doing good. Hope you got some good tunes going. I don't know how we're gonna edit this one, but it's really quiet in here right now. Not as exciting as normal. <laughs> All right, take a seat, back it up. Fast spin, fast, 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 come on. Last one here, challenge yourself. I'm going 137, 138. 46, nice and quick. Try not to bounce though, keep it in control. Almost there. Awesome, good job. Nice work, guys, okay. If you're not warmed up by now, I don't know. You're doing something wrong. <laughs> so, uh, I know I am. We got about a two and a half minutes here, and then uh, we're gonna get into the main set. So grab some water, loosen it off a bit if you need to stand up, kick the dog out, whatever. Get it done quick. This main set's gonna come up on us quick, and it's gonna be a whole bunch of hard work. So again, like I said earlier, this is a power workout that we're, we're doing today. It's definitely focused on cyclists and getting stronger. Um, so if you're kind of a fitness freak and you're just looking to lose weight or something, well, this will help, but it's not ideal. This is really designed for leg strength, uh, being able to get you up the hills faster. I do a lot of training for cyclocross this way with earlier in this or earlier in the training season to build strength, um, and also other disciplines like enduro mountain biking and just getting out and crushing my buddies up the hill on the road bike. So. It's always good to do the strength stuff. We do a lot of it in the late fall and early kind of winter, January, February. Uh, you know, a lot of people hit up the gym. This is kind of similar, but cycling focused. So we've got another 45 seconds or so before we get into the main. Uh, yeah, so the main set, we're gonna start seated. 70 to 80 RPMs. If you don't have a cadence meter, you know, this should feel a little slower than normal. It's uh, I'm doing about 70 right now. Um, 
The difference being, I don't have much tension. Once we get into this, I'm gonna crank that tension quite a bit. I'm gonna be running, not to get too technical, but pretty close to my threshold of power, if you know that. That's kind of where we're gonna be at here. Uh, yeah, 15 seconds. We're going. Okay, hit five. So let's find that gear. I'm gonna increase that tension quite a bit. Try to keep that cadence about the same, 75, 80. You feel like you're dragging an anchor. Like I say, this is not supposed to be easy. Feeling it in the quads. We gotta go through this six times, so let's not go crazy all at once here, right? So this is like the build up to a very steep hill. In real life. Spinning at 75, we're just over 30 seconds in. Getting ready for this hill to get steeper. If you're on your bike with gears, this should be, you know, big ring and most of the way down the cassette right now. In 10 seconds, we're gonna hit the real steep pitch. Okay, let's crank that tension even more. This is the, the pinnacle of the hill, whatever you want to call it. Steepest part. I'm spinning about 65 RPM right now. Definitely feeling it. We've got a minute here total. Check the power. This is important. Right now I'm spinning about 330. It's kind of where I want to be. My threshold power is probably around 270 to 280. So this minute should be over, over threshold. All right, back down. Back it off a bit, but not too much. Still working hard here. Okay, so let's try to get that cadence up a bit. Um, 85 or so. I'm pushing 90, but I'm still feeling still strong. We're coming coming over the crest of the hill here. It's not easy yet. This is a really important part of this set. Don't back it off here. This is where you really want to push the effort. I'm still pushing almost 300 watts. Almost to the top guys, almost over. All right, we got 30 seconds on the downhill. So we back it off, don't worry about power here. We're just spinning over 100 at least. I'm doing 115. Keeping those legs moving. Almost break time. You guys are doing awesome. Usually you get the feel for it after that first round. Nice work. All right, minute and a half break. Ooh, that's a good one. All right, so that's round one. We have five more of those. You can do this. You probably got a cold beer in the fridge real close to you for after. I'm thinking about that already. It's like eight o'clock in the morning. <laughs> Not quite yet though. Earn it. All right, so, catch my breath, get a little agua. We've got about 45 seconds here until we get to the next round. Um, I'm assuming you kind of felt how that was. You found it a little easy, maybe challenge yourself a bit. You found it too hard, back it off. You know, I'm trying to 
uh, cater to a broad audience here, so some of the power stuff might not be technical enough for you, but I don't want to get too crazy with that. And some of this might be way over your head, so at the end of the day, you're on your bike, you're getting a workout, that's what counts. Good on you. All right, about uh, 10 seconds here till we get into the next one. Let's see if we can crank it up a notch. Blow myself up in round two. Okay, here we go, let's find that gear. We're seated. 70 to 80 RPM, so around that 75 mark is good. Strong effort here. Dragging the anchor up the false flat. Moderate hill. Things start to get tricky. We want to stay focused on breathing. Nice deep breaths. We want to stay focused on nice round pedal circles. Not just pushing on the front, pulling up on the back, kicking over the top. Almost through this. All right, let's crank it up another notch. Standing up. If you're on your bike at home, shift down. It should be pretty much the hardest gear you got. Cadence around 65. Power is up there. You're doing good, guys. Keep it up. Thirty more seconds standing here. You can do this. Stay focused. Round circles. Still not just pushing on the front, I'm pulling up on the back too. All right, you're almost there guys, good job. Okay, we're gonna sit back down, back it up a bit, but not too much. Keep that power up. This is the hard minute, you gotta keep focused, stay strong. I'm pushing about 90 RPM, about 300 watts. We'll get through this, you can do it. Keep going, 20 more seconds. You got this. Finish strong here, almost there. All right, let's back it off, spin it out. 30 seconds, down the hill. Keep those legs moving. We don't go some the downhill, we always pedal. Go, go, go. Nice and quick, 120 RPM. Almost there. All right, good job. Woo. Back it right off, you got a minute and a half break. Savor this here. All right, that's round two complete. Four to go. Nice work. Oh, I'm jealous of all you at home that have a fan right now. <laughs> it's hot. All right, by now you should have the groove of this. It's just a matter of uh, pushing yourself mentally to get through it. Try not to back it off too much. If you can keep it consistent with your power throughout all six of these, you're doing amazing.
We've got 30 more seconds and we're getting into the next one. All right, good job guys. You're doing awesome. Okay, we're going in five. Find that gearing. Let's get ready. There we go. Seated. 75 RPM or so. Dragging the anchor. Strong. You got this. Let's build up to this big hill. Remember to breathe. Engage your core. Nice round pedal circles. Fifteen more seconds here, and we're gonna hit the hill, the steep part, standing. Good job. You can do this. Okay. Crank it up. Standing. RPMs are low, 65. I'm doing about 68 right now. You got this, guys. When we're standing, try to stay forward on the bike, almost like you're pushing back towards the pedals, towards the rear wheel but you're still pulling up on the backstroke a lot. We're not just mashing down. We certainly don't want to be standing like this. This is impossible. Far forward. Stay standing as long as you can. You can do this. Five more seconds. All right, take a seat. Keep going here. Back it off a bit. Not too much. This is the minute that really counts. It's the hardest. You can do it. 85 RPM. Maybe a little lower. Lots of power. This is the over the top. You got it. 30 more seconds here. Stay strong, stay focused. Stay breathing. 10 more, keep going, up, up, up. All right, we're over the top, back it off, spin it up. Give those legs a bit of a break, keep them moving though. One ten, one fifteen. At this point, just keep it over a hundred. Almost there. All right, nice work. Got a minute and a half break here. Again, savor it. These aren't getting any easier. Three down, three to go, halfway there, guys. Good job. Oh. I'm gonna get a little less chatty, I think, for the next three. <laughs> Right now it's mental focus. You know what to do. I taught you all my pearls of wisdom. Well, I got a few more in the bag, but for today. You got three more rounds of this. You can do it. Stay focused. Tell yourself you can do it. Stay positive. Smile. It helps. 
forget about sore legs. <laughs> 20 seconds and we're getting into the round four. Okay, dry yourself off a bit. Five seconds, find that here. There we go. All right, dragging the anchor. 75 RPM seated. We're gonna make it through this together. Turn your fan on high. Turn your music up real loud. I'd be listening to like Rage Against the Machine or something right now if I was by myself. Something energetic and strong. Maybe Tool. Nice work, guys. 20 seconds here. And we're gonna stand up the steep part. You can do this. All right, crank it up. Standing. You like even drop a little bit. Doing about 70. Maybe just below 68. Pushing. Still pushing about 320 watts. Three, maybe 330. 30 more seconds up this hill. You can do it, guys. Keep it on. Keep going. Full pedal circles, breathing, engage your core. Five more, almost over. Okay, seat, back it off a bit, not too much. Still got this. One minute over the top. This is where the real power's developed. I'm doing about 82 RPM, 85. Pushing 330 watts. Go, 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 come on. Keep on it. You can do this. 30 seconds. Stay breathing, stay focused. Almost there. All right, back it off. Spin those legs. It's not a break yet. Don't let the guy drop you on the downhill. That's what happens to me, because I'm too late. Just keep pedaling. Nice work, guys. Spin it out. 110 RPMs or so. Almost there. All right. Woo! Get those legs moving. Back it off. We got four down and two to go. Oh. This is a good one. I even brought my KOM bottle today. That's pretty sweet, I like that. I like going up hills. All right, halfway through this break, we've got 45, and then we're getting into it, round five. You can do this, guys. Again, just stay focused, focus on your breathing. This is a really good focus workout. 
best, definitely best bang for your buck for 45 minutes or so. Even better than Zwift, even though Zwift is pretty rad to do. Okay, 10 seconds. Next round. And five. Let's start prepping that gear. Here we go. One minute seated, 75 RPM, high power, strong. We got this. Oh, my bike's getting noisy. You got it, keep going, don't worry about my bike. All right, 30 seconds into this one. Gonna be a little bit annoying with the bike noise. Everything was going so good. Just pushing too much heat. All right, 10 seconds, we're gonna stand. All right, let's pick it up. Add some tension. You got this, guys. Drop those ca that cadence down to 65 or so. Stay focused. You got it. Good job. Good job. Thirty seconds more up this hill. You can do it. Doing 70 RPM, which is about 310 watts. Definitely feeling it. My legs are gonna be jello today. Almost there. Okay, sit down, back it off slightly, pick the cadence up, but keep the power up. This is the important minute here. Go, 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 come on. Stay focused. Push, push, push. Pull, pull, pull. You can do it, you can do it, keep going. Strong and fast, 30 more seconds. All right, keep going, keep going. We're over this hill, keep it up. Almost there. All right, back it up. Spin it up. Up, 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 30 seconds fast. I know your legs don't wanna go fast, but just tell them to shut up and spin. Nice work guys, five done, almost. There we go, back it up. Uh, five down, one to go. Might need a bucket for the last one. Woo, yeah, all right. This is where when you design a workout, Contemplate four rounds or five or six. And I regret six right now, but I'll feel awesome about it when we're done. It's only another three and a half minutes of work. We can do it. We'll do it together. 45 seconds till we go.
All right, guys, 20 seconds. 15. Gonna get into that last round. That's where we're gonna leave it all on the bike. Sweat on the floor. Crush it. Okay, five. Find that gear. Okay. All right, here we go. Third, a minute, 75 RPM. Dragging the anchor, keeping it strong. I'm going for a big one, last round. Sitting at 350 right now, watts. Push, push, push. You can do it. Full circles, deep breath. You're almost there. Ten seconds till we stand. You got this, guys. Keep it up. Okay, a little more tension. Standing. 65 RPM, maybe 70. Ah. So you focus on those full pedal circles, deep breaths. Smile if you can. <laughs> Halfway, 30 more here. You got it. Keep going. Okay, we're seated. Back it up a bit. Don't slack off now. Give it a minute. Solid power here. Go, go, go. Sitting 85 RPM, 320. We're going. Might need to puke. That's okay. Wouldn't be the first. 30 seconds and you're there. Come on. Go, go, go. You got it. Leave it all out there, guys. Come on. You can finish strong. 10. All right, downhill, fast spin. Watch those legs. Go, go, go. Awesome. You're so close. The work is behind you. Keep spinning quick. Yeah. You guys crushed it. Let's take a good cool down here. As long as you need. I'll probably be on the bike for about seven minutes here. Just spinning it out. Lots of water today. And yeah, feel good about yourself. That is a hard workout. You guys have done awesome. Thanks for watching. Uh, do all that cool stuff down below. Comments, likes. Follow the channel. Let us know what you want to see. If you want to do spin stuff. I'm not going to be the bebop guy that's dancing on the bike. But if you want a cycling related workout, you want to know how to do something, well, let me know. Comment below. Yeah, this is The Loft at Home. And we love having you here. Thanks for joining us today. <laughs>